Hi guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I am home, I got home this weekend. Had a nice little weekend, lots of things happening. I'm wearing my new Hill House puffer that I am like obsessed with. We are getting back into my routine. I'm going to work out. Um, I have workouts scheduled every day this week. I'm gonna be getting in my long walk. Got a lot of work to get done. Um, book club like a lot of stuff's happening this week lots of meals to make like, you know, a lot of things are happening this week Okay, I'm grabbing my coffee for my workout right now my sunglasses guys I like messed them up somehow look at this. This is like tw I don't know I looked over in the hotel room in Europe and all of a sudden they were like this um, also, the pink bag that I bought when I was in Europe or in London, I left it at the hotel. So that should be arriving today because the nice people of the Palo Am Hotel in London decided that they were not going to steal it from me, which I would have understood. They mailed it back. So I love them so much. Everyone stay there. They're so, they're, it was actually a really cute hotel. Can I get egg white egg bites, please? Can I get a grande iced coffee with two pumps sugar-free vanilla, no classic, and a splash of cream? So I can do like a cold brew or Americano because unfortunately my room takes this down, but I make the iced coffee bit. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do a cold brew then. It's not gonna be the same. It's just two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and what kind of flavor? Um, just cream. Okay, so I'm gonna get the grande cream. Yes, and no classic. You got it. What else can I get for you? That's it. Okay, they don't have classic. So like two pumps of the sugar-free? Yes. All right, my friend, today, see you. I'll see you. Thank you. I really don't like cold brew. It, like, makes me really jittery, but... Thank you. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Hi guys. So we are practicing lucky girl energy this year, okay? And let me just tell you the two great things that have happened to me today. And I really need the third one. The third one is huge, which if it happens, it's gonna be great. First things first, my bag got lost in London. Well, it got stuck in London. They just like never, it never got on the plane, I guess. It finally got delivered this morning, okay? And like I said, I left a very extensive purchase that I made when I was in Europe in the hotel. I've never done that before in my life. And of course, Mercedes.com. Okay, chill. This way there are no Ch Alexa, in your I've never left something like that in a hotel. I mean, the only thing I've really left in a hotel is an ice roller. Um, and so of course, the first thing that I really leave is a brand new bag that I bought in London. So anyways, at first I think they were trying to maybe, I don't know. I don't want to accuse them because they did send it back to me, but they were like, saying everything else was in the hotel, and then all of a sudden, that wasn't when it would have been with that stuff, and they called me 10 minutes later, and they said they had the bag. So who cares? I don't care if they were gonna steal it. The fact is that they decided to give it back to me. Um, I haven't worn it, I haven't even used it, and I barely did a reveal in Europe, but we're doing a second unboxing, I guess, thanks to the Pelham Hotel. I just love those people, I really do. So this is my second lucky girl thing of the day. Now we just need the third one. Okay, which I'll find out, whatever. My bag, <gasps> here it is. Oh wow, they, this pack kind of weird, but, oh, hmm, interesting. I don't know who, whatever. Okay, it's this like beautiful pink Saint Laurent bag, which matches the scarves and beanies that we are putting out this month perfectly, as well as the other half of my wardrobe, because as we know, I wear chocolate brown, or like barely, some neutrals I guess, in pink. So I'm very happy, I cannot believe that they were so kind. Lucky girl energy. I've been seeing it all over TikTok, and that's what I was saying. I was saying, I am lucky, good things happen to me. I'm lucky, good things happen to me. And after three calls with the hotel, they found it. So, love them so much. Thank you so much to the Pelham Hotel. I'm very pleased with your work, and I'm very grateful. What's this? Oh. They even packed the shopping bag. Like, I didn't even need that, but how kind of them. That is seriously just so nice. I've been making this bone broth beef stew. And next time I make it, I'll film it because it is so good. It's so easy. It's from this cookbook. Hold on. Genius Kitchen. I've been loving this. I've been taking cookbooks with me. Oh, hello. I've been taking cookbooks with me when I go places like hair salon, whatever, and then I just go through it. And it's very inspiring and exciting to me. Anyways, it's in this cookbook. The recipe, it's so good. And I'm gonna have that for lunch. Later today, I'm gonna make my chicken rice soup that I love, but I was planning on having this for a little bit longer, but my little brother stayed with me last night, so. It's crazy how much, how quickly food goes when you have a 20 year old brother. 19, actually. Just finished recording my health and wellness podcast episode. By the way, all the podcast episodes 
are on video on YouTube on our podcast YouTube channel. So if you guys want to watch my 2222 favorites where I show every favorite from recipes to books to products to skincare to clothing to skims to like literally everything, we have that. We also have my like new habits and goals for the new year as well as like what I learned in 2022 and then we'll have my actual like fitness and wellness routines up as well. So go subscribe. It's always linked below. I will have it linked below. I would love if we get to like 5,000 subscribers on there. And make sure you guys are also watching the podcast. If you guys are more of like a YouTube viewer, we have that there. Also, before I forget, I'm coming to Nashville and Chicago for live shows. Chicago is March 27th, which is a Monday, and the guest is Lauren Elizabeth. And then March 3rd, which is a Friday in Nashville, and the guest is Shannon Ford. They will both sell out. The Nashville one, absolutely, is the smallest venue I've done. So get your tickets like now. Um, and then they also were also doing meet and greet this time for whatever reason it didn't happen in Dallas But we are doing it for Chicago and Nashville. I'm very excited. I would love to see y'all there I am just in such a good mood. I was sobbing earlier not gonna lie I had a little breakdown and then just good things started happening the lucky girl syndrome, okay, like it's Unbelievable my brother came over to help me with packages and he brought me over prime this ice pop one I've only ever had prime one other time and I liked it the ice pop flavor is so good. Like Prime is incredible, guys. My luggage also finally arrived from London. It is so heavy. So I'm gonna unpack that and do the rest of my laundry right now. I really don't feel like doing it, but normally when I get home from a trip, I unpack like the first 30 minutes that I'm home. So that is what we're doing. Just made a little tuna sandwich. We kept getting tuna cottos when we were gone at Joe and the Jews. Good morning, guys. I fell asleep in the clothes and I was wearing yesterday. I didn't get the best news last night, and then I went to bed at like 8. I was just tired, and I'm like, you know what? I gave up on today. Even though I didn't get the best news yesterday, I'm either in denial or I just have a strong knowing that it's going to work out. Um, I need to clean off this table, but I am... Feeling just anxious. I've been feeling a little bit anxious since getting back from traveling last week. And I'm filming a TikTok right now. I'm like getting out of like an anxious morning kind of thing. I don't know, guys. I just like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I really don't know. I normally like will get out of it once I work out and stuff. This is the one morning this week that I don't have a workout scheduled. Um, but I'm just trying my best. I do not like this tank top. And I can't even put... It's carding it up. I'm gonna go on like a nice little hour long walk. Um, kind of hate that I didn't have a workout this morning, but honestly, it just caught, it was whatever, it was like a mess, so didn't have one. It's 48 degrees out. It's supposed to be 85 tonight for book club, which is ridiculous. By the way, I've been like loving Athletic Greens. Not sponsored again, but. So I'm unpacked officially. I just have a few more things. Like I need to kind of straighten up my closet room, I think. Just ignore Coco. It just sucks. Both of the, Fitz has kennel cough. He's so sick. He's going to the vet in like an hour and a half. Coco, obviously, IVDD, like she hasn't getting better. And then I feel like she's regressed in the past couple days. Not regressed, like she's better than she was. So there's been progress, but we were hoping she'd be fully healed through medicine. So I'm hoping that maybe I can just give her like two more weeks of crate rest. No, I don't know if anyone cares who's watching this, but um, normally you would get six weeks of crate rest for medicine for your back, but four for neck. Oh, guys, uh, like everyone in my house is just falling apart. I feel so bad for Fitz. And he's like huddling up next to me, which he never does. Where is my frother? Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna chug this. Oh my gosh. Great. Now I also need to do the dishes. This is really dramatic, but this is like actually how I'm feeling. You know when you just like lack energy because you're just feeling, I don't want to say depressed, but just feeling really down. But I'm not down about anything. I actually know that it's hormonal, but like I just have no energy and no desire and no like want to do things, which is like scary. Anyways, uh, cheers. I'll feel better today. Don't even worry.
back from the vet and Fitz has, Coco, please stop. Fitz has the flu or kennel cough, which every dog in Dallas is getting right now. So he's on meds. These dogs, I'm literally a full-time mother. Okay, so I learned how to like properly curl my hair when I was in Europe. I've always curled it like the wrong way or maybe not the wrong way, it's not the way that I like it. And now I feel like I'm messing it up, but I'm getting ready. If you guys can hear Coco barking, I'm sorry, just ignore it. Oh, wow. She's on very strict crate rest for her own good. This is the only way she's gonna get better. So anyways, the flu for dogs, influenza, is um, going around in Dallas a ton, apparently since November. I like cannot take myself seriously right now. Um, and it finally hit Fitz because it hit all the dogs at my dad's house and that's where Fitz was staying. Obviously, it would be great too for Coco to not end up getting it, but like, I didn't, he didn't even show signs of getting sick until like two days ago. And they live in like a small two bedroom townhouse. So she's probably gonna get it because he's contagious for three weeks. So, love that. So, today I'm recording two podcast episodes one with my friend Janelle, who you guys have probably seen on TikTok, or if you haven't, you need to look up her TikToks. She says the best ones. Okay, she did like Black Women in Luxury, and then she did. You guys have seen, I think it's in like Copenhagen, but it's like black women in Copenhagen style because she hadn't seen representation in that way. Like Matilda Jerf vibes, okay? And her TikTok shit is incredible and she does a bunch about like manifesting and healing and like whatever. She's a very cool girl. So I'm recording with her and then I'm also recording with my weightlifting coach, Erin, an entire episode about weightlifting because I just love weightlifting and I listened to one and I was so interested in it like months ago and that's actually how I got into it and how I even found her. Um, I do classes, I don't actually do like privates, but it's only like 10 people in the room. And then tonight we have, I might film another video today too, and then tonight we have the Dallas Book Club, which is open to everyone. The information's on my Instagram. But I'm like really proud of myself for finally getting the hang of this. I do see like a couple kinks in here, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But I feel like we're gonna figure it out. I feel like it's gonna be good. So I woke up this morning feeling really anxious. I filmed like an anxious morning routine on TikTok, but I normally work out like every day in the morning, like every weekday. And I canceled this workout because it basically just got canceled, it wasn't gonna work. So I went on a walk and I like made sure to get out of my house. If you guys are feeling anxious, the best thing for me is to just get out of my house in the morning. Very rarely, I feel like my anxiety has gotten so much better, but since getting back, it's been bad. Um, and I think so I always kind of feel more anxious in the new year. I'm also not feeling like 100% there. Like normally I'm like really motivated and like ready to like tackle everything and whatever. And I just like haven't been fully feeling that, which is like bothering me and stressing me out. Anyways, getting out of my house though since I work from home has been so nice. I am trying a new studio today though in Dallas. I love our other studio. I love the people who work there. The video is just like not my vibe for the podcast and I need a better video. Um, I really want a studio, a podcast studio at my house. I'm working on all of this right now um, just because it would be so much easier. It would be so much cooler to have like my own set. Like I want like a literal set built out. So if you guys are in Dallas and you know any set builders, you let me know. So I've got some things I need to do. But I am feeling a lot better and like this whole week is just getting back into my routine and oh great. So naturally I feel like it's normal to feel this way, you know? Okay, so I'm doing a Fabletics deal in the podcast today. So this is my Fabletics outfit. And I want to see, I saw this on TikTok and I got it immediately. Um, I want to see if this works. Apparently you just like put it on your arm and you buff it out with a, bo oh wow, with a body brush. But I'm just like afraid it's going to get all, oh wow, it smells incredible. I just want to make sure it doesn't get on my clothes, you know? And I was going to wear a white t-shirt in a couple hours. It smells amazing. Like, look at the difference between my arms. Wow. Okay, we'll do my chest on camera. The real tester is... Okay, this is amazing. Is if it gets on my clothes. Setting this up. By the way, the second I start talking, she starts making a noise. This stuff worked and it didn't like leak onto my clothes. I just actually dropped it onto my clothes. This is amazing. Like my skin, my main thing is that I always just like wish my skin was glowier. That's why I was trying the new products yesterday. And this 
unbelievable. It just did the Mary Phillips method on my makeup. I'm trying to show you in the light. It's pretty dark in here. This is dying. You can't really even see it, but it looks so much better. If you don't know what the Mary Phillips method is, it's all over TikTok, so I doubt there's probably anyone unless by chance you don't have TikTok. Basically, you put your contour and your concealer on first, and then you take a fluffy brush and you put your foundation, and it is so good. Like, it is so good. So, anyways, packing up my bag to go to the studio. Back in, in studio recording for the first time in a bit. It's been like two months since I've been in the studio with guests, because I batch recorded, and then I just have been doing a ton of solos. I'm wearing like a really relaxed outfit. It's just like a sports bra. I'm sorry about Coco guys. It's just a sports bra on top um, because I'm doing a Fabletics deal, which I'm so excited about. And let me just say, these leggings and they're like the sculpt high-waisted ones, they just are so amazing. They like suck you in. I think that term suck you in might be problematic. I don't know, but they just make me feel really good. They're very supportive. I'm getting a little matcha for my recording. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're off. Officially back to work, guys. Guys, those episodes were so good. The Aaron episode, we talk, I'm gonna try to get home without GPS. Every time I do this, I regret it. Aaron and I, we talked about, oh, this car is literally going the other, the opposite way on a one way street, I can't talk. In Aaron's episode, we talked about like weightlifting, fitness, having a healthy, good relationship and outlook on fitness. And then um, the episode with Janelle, we got very deep and we were doing like manifesting and vision boards, but also like healing your inner child and all that stuff. And she like really opened up in it. And it was just so good. I loved it. So we're actually gonna get dinner tonight and she's gonna come to book club with me. I'm gonna go home, get some more things done. I think I'm gonna do like a little personal life update Q and A kind of thing. And then I'm gonna leave around like 5.30 maybe. I don't really know. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be. I hate driving downtown. It's like not my vibe. You know? It is randomly like 70 degrees out and after tomorrow it's back to like 40. Oh, that's the high. I just, I'm a little bit confused. It was cold this morning. I changed into a more, not even relaxed, just a different outfit. I've been sitting here. I just booked like four or five different flights in the next six weeks. Actually, let's see where I'm going. Austin next week. I was gonna go to Dubai randomly for like a brand trip that fell through. So Dom is actually coming here. So get excited, um, and then I'm going to LA for a couple days to record, and then I'm going to New York for like 24 hours to record. And then the following month, obviously Chicago and Nashville for podcast recordings. And then I think we're doing a girls trip. And then I think I'm doing another girls trip. I'm like trying to get all this set and done and scheduled. Leave who you guys want to see on the podcast in the comments below. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure we're batched out. Normally I have so many podcasts batched out right now, I don't. Um, well, after like next week, I'll have like a few and also what solo episodes you guys want I'm so excited about both episodes that we recorded today. So just like, you know, lit a fire kind of under my um, You know, so anyways, I'm waiting for a little snack to come in and then I'm gonna film Just like a personal life update Q&A and then Janelle and I are going to tribal for dinner By the way, I don't know when this video is going up. Let's see Next week. Okay, so this upcoming weekend, the 21st and the 22nd at Tribal, if you guys go and get my favorite drink, the Good Morning Drink, it is benefiting the family place. But it's like a deal I'm doing, so it's like the Kinsey Elizabeth Good Morning Drink. It's the same drink that I always get that I love there. Um, and all the pro profits are going to the family place. Family place is an organization in Dallas that's helping um, victims of just family violence, or like domestic abuse, and they do a lot of amazing things. So the profits are going to the family place. So if y'all are in Dallas, make sure that you come because you have to. It's gonna be very exciting. Dom will be there too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm sure we're gonna be there like Saturday morning, probably. Um, yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Definitely Saturday morning. And maybe even Sunday morning, honestly. We'll be there. I'll be posting on Instagram. I just filmed a personal life Q&A, if you will. And I am burning up right now because I couldn't have the AC on. And it feels warm. I also got my third time at Starbucks today, guys. Like, I'm not proud of it. I genuinely, I'm really not proud of it. But something about filming a talking video, I feel like I always have to have a drink. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to pick up Janelle. And, oh, we're going to go to dinner at Tribal. 
and then we're going to book club which i'm really excited about i have no idea how many of y'all are coming last time i felt like no one was coming and there was a big turnout and this time there's a lot more people who have rsvp'd so we will see how that goes for once okay guys we're at parody so what time is it 6 24 we got book club in 30 minutes we made it to book club i have a mic this time guys is that not crazy look at our beautiful dallas turnout say hello say hello i haven't started like my actual questions yet oh love the posing looking cute more people are at the bar <laughs> Back from book club, about to do my skincare and fall asleep. The camera's dying. It was a really good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. 7.30. I am a full-time mother at this point, okay? Actually, no. No disrespect to the mothers. But these dogs are on so many meds. It takes me like 30 minutes every morning to feed them and... Give them all the medication and make sure they get it. Fitz was up coughing all night last night. I cannot remember what I've said to the vlog and what I've said to a TikTok vlog. Fitz has the dog flu, which by the way is running rampant in Dallas, I guess since like November. And it's really, really sad. Like he, I've never seen, Coco's never like been sick like that before. I haven't even seen any of my dogs ever get sick like this. And he just coughs like crazy and he looks so sad and his eyes are extra droopy and he's so hot and he just like looks miserable. But good news is he gets the really good food to eat his meds and his meds are like this big because he's huge. So anyways, I'm making myself breakfast. Today is going to be a good day. It's actually my dad's birthday. So I should give him a call. I'm gonna go over there later tonight. Um. During the day, well, I'm gonna go work out and then my mom is coming, my mom is getting her lips done and so she like wants me to like hold her hand through the process the first time. We're gonna go do some things. Here we are. I haven't gotten that much time to read this week, which I don't love. Um, got home last night really late and I was just like so tired. Laid awake, and then the other two nights, I was like, I don't know, I haven't been given myself time to read. I'm reading The Nightingale, which I know is like such a good book, and I am really enjoying it. It's just long, and it's definitely not like the kinds of books I normally read, but I, it's it's really good. I just need to buckle down. So hopefully, my family does dinner early tonight, and I can be reading, cozy up, you know? I also will be making, hopefully, my rice soup today. I'm not sure when I'm gonna have time for what. But that is the plan. Today is nothing too crazy. So I have my athletic greens, um, and I'm making some avocado toast. And I'm gonna do like my morning stack, which I'll take you guys through. Here's my morning stack. This week I've been getting back into my routine, but I still feel like I'm not like fully there. I'm not like fully on it, you know? Um, my sleep has just been so messed up because Fitz is not sleeping through the night, but and it's keeping me up. Anyways, I'm like getting in back into my morning routine and stuff, but I just want it to be a little bit more like. So, um, what I have been doing is I start off with morning pages. I just have this like, I don't even think it's a real moleskin. No, it's like, I just type in moleskin on Amazon and these pop up. Um, I do three pages of journaling, whatever that might be. I'm, sometimes I'll do like manifestation. Sometimes I'll do visualization. Sometimes I'll just journal about what I'm like anxious about or just like thoughts or whatever, like literally whatever it is, I do three pages. I'll do the Daily Stoic. I'll read my page out of the Daily Stoic. Um, this is a newer edition, but I do really like it. Um, it's just great. It's like one page a day. You have a date and then it takes you through. It's like a really short read. And then, ideally, I read like 20 to 30 minutes of a nonfiction book. That's why I need to be getting up earlier, which I will start doing so I have a little bit more time. But that's typically my morning stack. Um, sometimes when I'm doing like The Artist's Way, I'll read that during that or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start getting up probably at six so I have time to do everything. It's also just nice to be able to have like a leisurely morning and like an hour to yourself before the day starts. So, that is what I'm doing. This is genuinely the saddest thing I've ever seen, guys. Oh, Fitz, he just got his meds. Okay guys, I got my first 437 workout set. They actually sent me, I have already the Kinsey bathing suit and they sent me another one. It's like the cutest 
chocolate brown bathing suit. It's literally named the Kinsey swimsuit. Like, how do they know, you know? Um, and it's amazing. I have a second one now, but I will give it to a friend. I'm so tired. I need to go get coffee. Anyways, I'm wearing my first 437, like, workout set. I'm about to go to um, weightlift. I really like it. I feel like at first, like, around here, on, like, my stomach, I feel like it's not, like, it feels like, I feel like it kind of fits weird here, but as time goes on and I'm moving, it's fitting better. So I think it's just more of, like, stretching for my body as such. Anyways, I really like the material, though. Like, it's very soft, but it's not, I don't know, like, it is, it does feel, like, different than the other, like, workout sets. Anyways, I like it. Okay, we're heading out. Guys, I am officially going to hell. Okay, so, just went and got my Starbucks. Um, I honestly feel like I sometimes am loved in like seventh grade ways I don't feel like like obviously Starbucks is huge But most people as they get older have like graduated to like other local coffee shops the Thing about me is that I'm very picky with iced coffee and I like Starbucks iced coffee And I don't like like cold brew makes me feel sick. I get like I don't know Anyways, that's not what I'm talking about my I know the people on my local Starbucks. They're very nice And there's this one guy that I talk to every day. I won't say his name because Whatever that would be weird. I think Anyways, I, when I got my chin done, I had the like chin thing on my face, right? The compression gear. Um, and I was going through and like, honestly, I was just so used to it. I forgot I was even wearing it. I would wear it everywhere. I, I like, I, one thing about me is I literally, I really just don't care. And he was like, oh my God, are you okay? Whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm fine. I just had surgery. And like, I thought it would have been assumed that it was like plastic surgery. Like, I didn't, I don't know why I thought that. And then he was like, oh my God, well, get better or whatever. And the way he reacted, I was like, and it was like, as I was leaving, I was like, oh my God, no, this man thinks that I had surgery like on my head. Like he thinks that like, there's something wrong with my brain. Like, and I was like, that is not, not, well, but I was driving away and it all happened so fast. I was like, no, 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 maybe, maybe not. So this morning was the first time I've seen him since because I was out of town and I come back and he's working again. And he goes, oh my God, I'm so good. I'm so glad everything's good with your head. Like, I was worried the surgery and I was like, oh, oh my God. And now I'm in too deep. I can't explain to him that it was plastic surgery. So I am going to hell. I'm literally going to hell. You know, what a nice man. All of Starbucks, they're all so nice there. But yeah, that was bad. It was not good, you know? I wasn't lying. I did say what it was, but I, I didn't, yeah, okay, okay, we're done here. Anyways, I'm going to go work out. It's a nice little workout. I am doing a little errand today. So, I'm back from my workout. It was great. I love weightlifting class. Um, okay, I just did my skincare and I've been a summer Friday girl for a few months and I feel like when my skin breaks out, it's typically hormonal. One, I am on spironolactane, which has been helpful even though I'm not being consistent, which is horrible. Um, and I need to be consistent with it. But when I am, it clears up my skin immediately. Um, I have been using the Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum followed by the Heavenly 16 Facial Oil followed by the Cloud Gel Moisturizer, which is in my closet room right now. And then of course, Summer Friday's Lip Balm. Um, I was using, I'm out of this, this stuff is like a game changer with acne. The Sony Dakar Super Clear, it's unbelievable. It's pricey, Sony Dakar is pricey. But this, I swear, like at first when I was breaking out, I was using the Tower 28 spray and this stuff was doing wonders. So I would maybe try this first because it is cheaper. You can get a little mini version of it. Um, I have a travel one and I would just spray it on before do my makeup and it was really helping and then all of a sudden like I was still breaking out. So then I started using this and this stuff changed my life but I will say that really helped at first. Just something my skin changed. At night I have the apostrophe um, like night cream. I don't know. I also have the Curology one which I love. I like alternate between whichever one I have and these are both custom to my skin and they help so much. The Curology like, cleanser and the moisturizer are also some of my favorite products. Um, but that's a little skin update. I also got this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I still don't really know what it does. But, like, am I not supposed to put this on before I do makeup? Please, someone let me know in the comments below. Also, I got a beautiful new spice set for Christmas, and I accidentally left it at my mom's house. So, you guys will see that today, because she is bringing it to me when I go to 
her appointment with her. So that's what we're off to do. Hope you guys enjoyed my updated makeup routine. Not makeup, skincare routine. I just finished getting ready. The weather this week is very weird. So this is my look and it's gonna be a little bit too warm, but it's fine. I got this scarf. It's a Gucci scarf, obviously. Like sometimes I say things and I'm like, I just, I'm sorry. I'm just, okay. You know, a scarf at Harrods in London. This tag is really bothering me, but I don't know if it's like, I should just take it off, right? Um, I'm wearing my bag because I'm not gonna bring my purse and then what else do i get to do today i feel like i'm ready to go this is the look gotta go run an errand and then go meet up with my mother i cannot wait to come back today and cook and show you my new spice set like i'm just so excited i really i truly am okay off to honor bar for lunch with my mom my favorite restaurant in dallas it is just so cute and beautiful I'm home and look at my beautiful new spice collection. I wanted ones that matched and were actually a set because I, I, I just was, mine are really unorganized and I'm gonna donate them and they're just a mess. And I've always wanted like a nice spice collection. And I am so excited. I'm gonna be organizing like this week a little bit more even though I did a whole um, organization vlog already, but we've got paprika, celery seed. I mean, I have like literally everything. Curry. I am just so excited. Oh, this looks cool. I mean, they're beautiful. They're really big. I'll link this below. This is um, from my mother, Rosemary, and I just left it on Christmas because it was in a like different box. But I'm so excited. I just think it's like beautiful, and they're gonna look so good. I am currently so tired. I just got some work done. Back home from lunch. Um, I have barely been sleeping because poor Fitz has just been so sick and up all night. And then I've been up all night with him and then he's coughing and then I just like, feel so bad. Anyways, I haven't slept. So I'm gonna get a shower and I'm actually gonna self tan. It's my dad's birthday. So I'm gonna go over there and hang out with my brother and him and um, eat dinner and do cake and stuff. But first, we're gonna try the Lux Unfiltered Self Tanner. I love the gradual stuff. Actually, let me know. I found the gradual tanner and the drops. My mom said this too. Like, I feel like they're different than they were in 2020. Let me know if you guys use it and you felt the same way. Anyways, I do love Lux Unfiltered, so I'm gonna try the actual self tanner and I will keep you guys posted on how I like it. Let's go do it. Hi, Fitzy. Hi, Mr. Handsome. Oh, I just feel so bad for you. I just feel so bad. All right, guys, I just tanned with the Lux Unfiltered Self Tanner. I'll let you guys know how I like it. You leave it on for eight hours. It's just honestly pretty much the same thing. I'll give you guys a nice little review. I'm very excited. I love the brand. So thinking I'm gonna head over to my dad's house, have a chill night, and then hopefully, the good thing about going to my dad's house is that he also goes about 8 p.m. I can be in bed reading early tonight. Gotta finish the night and go. I've read I barely read anything this week. I think I've read like 20 pages. And like normally I read like a lot more than that. My hair is kind of messing up over here. But by the way, I have started washing my hair only once a week. Really, I do like every six days and that's about as long as I can make it last. Um, I've changed a few things. One, I just like made myself do it. Two, I am very lucky and I've been getting blowouts a lot lately. So that, for whatever reason, the way they do my hair makes it like stay dry way longer. Like when I wash my own hair, it gets greasy faster. So I'm not sure like what I need to do to change all of that. If you guys, this lights bother me. If you guys have good recs, let me know. Um, but I've just been like sucking it up. And then I'm not doing hot Pilates every single day. So my hair, I'm not sweating as much. So it's not bothering me like it was before. So that's made it a lot easier. Like tomorrow I'm doing hot Pilates, but I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. So it kind of like the schedule works out really well. But I basically just suck it up. I got my hair, I washed it, I got a blowout on Saturday, and it's like, I put dry shampoo in. I used this Finish Cleanish dry shampoo, which is a powder dry shampoo, and what I found is that that's just what I prefer. I always use baby powder growing up, and that's just like the best of the best to me. Like, I still haven't found a dry shampoo that I like just as much, but I do like the dry bar dry shampoo, and I love the Living Proof one. I left that one in London. But that's what I've been doing. And then I will just like barely even put a heat on it. 
Like I curled it the other day and then I'll just brush it out and just have it kind of be like loose and whatever. Just trying to get my hair health back. So I'm going to be using Divi. Oh, sorry guys. I'm going to be using Divi as well and then going back on Nutrafol starting like tomorrow. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully I have a lot of hair growth. I just want my hair to be back to how thick it was before and it's just, it's not there right now. So, this is what I look like right now with the tan, but I'm going to my parents' house, so I just don't care. Good morning, guys. Just woke up, taking care of the pups, taking my athletic green. This is a really good thing to start your day off with. It's like 7.30, I have Pilates in like an hour. Update on the tan. I actually love it, I obviously haven't washed it off. I'm gonna do that in like 30 minutes. Um, but, I actually really love how it went on. For whatever reason, my other tan just haven't been like dark enough just because I'm so pale in the winter. And by dark, I just mean like just slightly tan, you know? Because I just have nothing to me. It's not like I'm asking for much. Hopefully when I shower this off, I still love it. Today's Thursday. Um, well, time to blend. It's like I'm doing... It like literally sounds like I'm like blending my makeup. No. Time to mix. Got it. Taking my morning stack also. I bought this online for Fitz like a month ago. It's basically like a dog bed on the couch because there's no room for him to have his own dog bed in this house. So we'll see if he likes it. Okay, so I showered off the tan. Obviously I'm not as tan, but I feel like I just have really natural, like I actually really love it. My hands are not that messed up i mean they're you know they're messed up they've been worse okay and that's on me but i do just feel like i have like pretty good natural color so anyways lux unfiltered tanner i'm a fan all right so i'm off to pilates this morning it's actually really cold out the past few days not that you guys care about the weather but it was just so nice out and i like cold weather one thing about me is I would rather it be 30 degrees at all times. What is going on here? And um, be bundled up by a fire. Like, I love the feeling better. I love the outfit better. I love everything about it. But let me tell you, something changed in me last night. When I was driving around listening to country music and it was like 75 and warm with the breeze, it was nice. It was really nice. So, anyways, the good thing about seasons is one, I actually hated not having seasons in LA. Like, I actually weirdly hate the weather in LA because it never changes and you have no like time frame as to when things happen in memory and also i just don't like it like i like seasons you know why am i talking about the weather like you guys don't care. anyways i'm going to hot pilates as y'all know i go to shine hot pilates you guys can use code join kinsey for your first class free and we are hosting i'm hosting a pilates class i don't know when this will go up you guys need to make sure you're following me on instagram because if you guys live in dallas we're doing events and stuff all the time and we're hosting like a free hot pilates class with some gifting some surprises if you will <sighs> this person is staring at me this man in a truck and i just don't care i made myself some iced coffee it's weird it's like yes i'm back in my routine this week but i just feel so all over the place coco update has the flu absolutely she's like sneezing and coughing now which we knew would happen and i'm just like so stressed about them not feeling well and also coco's ivdd like i it just is like derailing my days yes i'm back in my routines but i'm kind of like just still feeling a little bit anxious and feeling like there's not enough time in the day but also then snoozing my alarm until 6 45 when i wanted to wake up at 6 because i needed that extra 45 minutes so i have no one to blame besides myself like i need my morning routine so what i might do is film a video like getting into my morning routine like all next week or something because then it's gonna force me to do it you know if i like have some sort of accountability in that aspect i have pilates therapy a meeting um what else do i have i have a facial this afternoon i want to cook tonight i really need to get more reading done like it is taking me forever to get through the nightingale and like i know it is a good book and i like the book it's just that i've been so tired by like 7 p.m that i fall asleep and I'm telling you, like, I've got to finish that book within the next two days. Like, I am buckling down. But I have my sister's, stepsister's baby shower on Sunday. Sophie's getting a brother. So exciting. It's not on Sunday. It's on Saturday. Um, so I'm a busy girl. I'm a busy girl these days. What can I say?
just got finished with therapy. I'm gonna light some candles. I have some more meetings. Um, the first one is just going over scheduling it for the podcast for the year. But I have 15 minutes. So in between now and then, I'm gonna start making my soup. Making chicken and rice soup. This is a volcano candle, by the way. Best candle ever. Honestly, guys, all I wanna do is make the bone broth beef stew thing I've been making. But I need to make this chicken and rice soup because I already got the stuff for it. It's also really good. I also really typically tend to crave this when it's cold out. I just love a good soup. It's really my favorite thing to make. So that's what we're doing right now. Sorry guys, just look at how cute my little measuring cups are. I have more, you guys are fitting on them right now. I'm just obsessed, my mom got them for me for Christmas. They're from Anthropology. I'll link them below. Actually, I'll just show you guys because they all fit here. Like, it's just so amazing. Anyways, you guys are right back there. This soup is so good and I'm actually really getting in the mood for it. Working on my suit, I'm on FaceTime. It's looking good. Here's my soup update in Pray for Dom. She has a ruptured ovarian cyst. Okay, C calm down. That was all fake. So honestly, t I take it back. Don't even pray for her. She's gonna be fine. My soup looks incredible though. <laughs> you gotta make sure you put a lot of lemon in this. You know, Dom? Yes. <laughs> Wait, so how did you get into cooking? Like what, what brought this on? Well, besides the obvious influence of myself. Well, that's presumptuous. Um, I actually started, have you been to California Chicken Cafe when you've been out here? No. Well, A, we need to go because it's so goddamn buzzy buzz. Um, and anyway, I went there and I became a hyperfixation food and then I was really- Okay, I'm about to leave, go to my facial. This looks not good once. Okay, you guys have to trust me. The best part about making soup is that there's so much food and your meals are just done. Oh my God, for like a couple, like a day or so, two, a couple days. You get what I'm saying. <sighs> that just like, I can't describe it. It just ruins the entire vibe of my house. Like I, I can't describe it guys. You have to just trust me. But I'm wearing my really, really cute puffer jacket. Um, my pants, like I, my laundry needs to be done and it feels like I have no clothes, which obviously is so far from the truth, but um, I need like better pants always. Anyways, look at how cute my puffer jacket is. It's from Hill House and I just love it. So I'm heading out to Dermani, which is, the med spa that I go to, my dad actually just opened it. Um, but to Dallas, this one is in Preston Hollow and they have like the best prices at a really good place for like Botox, filler, everything. I'm getting a hydrofacial today and to replaning. But um, for like all injections and both every single thing that I've been doing med spa wise, Germani, Preston Hollow, you mention my name, you get money off. Um, and so many of you guys have been going, which is really great. Um, if you see a man there, that is my father, so say hello. But I'm taking my grandma, Myga, as you guys know, and we're gonna get facials. Um, Myga is, oh, why? Myga is my mom's mom, not my dad's mom, but what's up, bub? He seems to be doing a little bit better. Give you guys a little update. He's actually doing a lot better, and Coco's doing a lot better in her crate. She's crate resting, she has IBDD. It's really sad. As soon as I said that, he starts making noises. Okay. Something that's been on my mind a lot recently is the fact that I feel like I have like nothing to talk about or like bring to the internet. 
like obviously my internet presence is largely like based on my life and since I don't have any like horrible things that I'm going through right now or even like I'm not dating for example so I can't use that as content which is like kind of fucked up to begin with but that's like content you know what I mean but not that it's like bad that people do it it's just the fact that like that a fact you guys know what I'm saying and like I don't really have like changes necessarily in my life that I'm like I have like nothing to talk about I feel like every single thing that I talk about is the same thing I do the same thing in every single vlog and I know that like people like it like like this stuff because I like it when people are just doing normal boring like mundane things I like a home vlog I don't even watch like when people are out of town normally so I don't know but I'm like oh my god do I have like anything to offer like am I the most boring person in the world to watch you know like I've just been thinking about this and not even in the way of the lights like I think that like about myself personally I guess kind of but also I'm like I just like don't have and uh, this is the other thing my memory is so bad when people are on TikTok talking about stories and things that happened to them growing up I'm like I don't even like remember that stuff and also if I do I just like feel weird which is weird because like when people are telling stories on the internet I don't think anything about the other people who are involved. I'm like, oh, whatever. Like, it's not bad to them, right? But for some reason with myself, I'm like, I just, I'm like weirdly private about that stuff if it like involves someone else. Like, I don't know. I don't want them to like, and I think because I only live like an hour, less than an hour from my hometown, it's a little too like close to my life to where it's like, well, I don't want to like run into them. And not that I would, but like knowing myself, actually, guess I would. If I talked about something that happened that I like, never did and it's like oh whatever it's years later who cares it doesn't matter because you know what would happen not only would I run into them days later I would be stuck on like a six hour party bus with them the next day to where like you're stuck on a bus everyone's drunk and then hung over and throw it would be like the worst absolute worst case scenario and I'd be stuck with them for six hours so that's what would happen to me so anyways anyways that's pretty much all I had to say I'm on my way to uh, get a facial I'm getting dermaplaning and a hydrofacial when you get dermaplaning done to your skin it is, well first off hydrofacials are like it it's the best thing ever and then with dermaplaning they're like getting rid of all of like the hair and the excess dead skin dead skin cells dead skin whatever next day when you do your makeup it goes on so well like it honestly it really changes your life okay guys i've been here for a bit my grandma is getting her facial now here's the med spa germani med spa preston hollow um they basically offer everything here we go. Laser, facials. I got a hydrofacial today with dermaplaning, microneedling, injections, Botox, everything in Dallas. If you're a member too, you get like really, the pricing in general is actually incredible. Members get even better pricing and they have literally everything here. So say hello to my father, Germani Med Spa, and mention my name for money off. Um, so many of you guys have been coming, which is so exciting. See, there's my dad. Guys, look at my skin and how it's glowing. I cannot believe it. I mean, obviously I have a few breakouts right here, but it is just so glowy. So, I'm hanging out with the dogs. It's like 7.30. My biggest thing I wanna do tonight is get a lot of reading done. I have a pretty big day tomorrow. I'm waking up early. I'm going on a walk with a friend who's in town. You guys will see it. I don't know why I talk through everything. Um, and then I have just like a lot of like work and stuff, but Really, I should work tonight, but I am getting behind on my book and I, I gotta catch up. You know, I gotta get this, I gotta, I gotta get it done because it's a good book and I wanna finish it like as soon as possible. That's all, okay, that's all, never mind. Good morning, guys. It's early. I'm going on a nice walk with one of my friends who's in town. I'm so excited to see her, but it is 35 degrees out. So I'm bundling up. I should have worn a beanie, but I look weird with a beanie when my hair is up. I feel like that's just not the vibe. Coco is so sick, I feel so bad. I just gave the dogs their medicine. I woke up an hour ago and I've been doing that and she's gonna be sleeping, so it's really sad. Guys, I am living in this puffer jacket. It is so cute. Anyways, I finished my walk with Allie. I think she's actually coming over um because they're in town and she needs to bake a cake today and then we're gonna do happy hour and then i'm doing dinner with friends tonight so it's a whole thing also by the way if you guys ever need the best lip balm like literally ever this i got at uh the med spa when i got my lips done like originally and it is unbelievable it's the revision skincare youthful lip replenisher you can get it on amazon it is a little bit like pricey 
but you don't need that much and it stays on like I can put it on and wake up the next morning and it's still on my lips or I can like shower sometimes and it's still on my lips like the most hydrating thing ever cannot recommend enough so anyways going to go work out hope you guys are enjoying the vlog why am I being so like lame and insecure right now <clears throat> I don't know okay we're off I'm home I've changed I filmed a TikTok get ready with me I'm wearing um see the outfit would be cute if I was wearing jeans like this is my outfit I'm wearing four different colors of gray three different colors of gray was gonna wear four um my Uggs and this, but honestly, later today, I'm doing it like a really chill Friday night. I'm just gonna change into jeans and this is still gonna be my outfit. I'm about to take Coco to the vet because she now has the flu. So, you know. Anyways, I actually really like how I did my makeup today. Very minimal, it's all on TikTok. Allie's gonna come over, hopefully, and bake that cake so I can learn. And we are getting it together. I have an Okind meeting for planning. It's like for basically everything today. Gotta edit some vlogs. I just I gotta we're doing some things, you know. I just feel so bad for the dogs. Like it's it is actually derailed my life. Like I think I took for granted having healthy dogs because they're so easy to take care of. And now it's not even about the like oh I want to. It's like the anxiety that comes with it. It's like I am staring at them 24/7, just so worried. You know what I mean? It's not about like taking obviously like I don't mind taking care of them. That is not the problem. To be very clear. It's the anxiety that comes with like them being sick and Coco and just like, if you're not a dog owner, you wouldn't get this. But it really is just horrible. It's the worst. Okay, right now I am making my favorite bean, what am I saying? It's this bone broth beef stew from this cookbook, Genius Kitchen. This is my third or fourth time making this since getting that third time I think. It is so good and I just keep craving it. Oh my god, I need to fix this. But anyways, that's what I'm making. Okay, so I'm making it again, as you guys know. This is my current favorite meal. I'm making a TikTok, so I'm about to finish it up. But basically, all you do is you sear the beef. And then you add everything in at once. So you add carrots, purple sweet potatoes, onions, garlic, paprika, thyme, uh, beef bone broth. You guys will see it in my TikTok. Um, you just literally add it all at once. And then you cover it for an hour and a half and you're done. We'll bring it down to a simmer first and then cover it. But I'm telling you, it's amazing. Okay, I've been editing, cooking, finished my stew recipes on TikTok. Um, Macy and I are FaceTiming. We were just talking about TikTok. Um, and I'm about to go to a happy hour at 5.30. Because one thing about me, well, I do not like this fit. Like, this is not necessarily the vibe. Maybe I should zip this. Maybe that would be better. Um, one thing about me is I love an early bedtime, but this week it's Friday. It's a little bit of like a weird week. Um, most of my, we're like, no one's doing anything tonight. I have friends in town, so I'm gonna do a really early happy hour. And then I've gotta get home because I've got a lot to do. We got a baby shower tomorrow. Gotta clean some stuff in the house. Gotta get organized. Next week is a very, very busy, busy week. So I've got some things to do. So anyways, I'm going to happy hour. And then honestly, I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog just because Everything that I'm doing tonight is just like boring and productive and like you guys don't care, you know? Get up a nice self-care night if you will. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget this weekend, my drinks at Tribal in Dallas. Would love to see you guys there. Dom should be here too. So you never know. Follow me on Instagram. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. I get into my infrared sauna. I do my superhuman meditation, which is typically about a three minute meditation because I can't do longer than that. I haven't built myself up yet. And then I'll read on my Kindle. After that, then I'll do cryotherapy. It just makes me feel incredible. There's so many benefits. I'm not gonna be able to tell you all of them at all, but like just Google it, trust me.